those boys. Good morning, Miss Clementine. Good morning. Look here, got a letter just for you. Thank you. Yep. Oh, that's understandable in these troubling times. My dearest Clementine, it has been but mere minutes since I departed, yet I already find I am able to focus on little else but you. Your sweet smile, your perfumed skin, the way you get all crossy-eyed when you read. Although I am off to war, I want you to remember that I am always with you, particularly right now, because I have made the other men wait for me while I write this letter right outside of your house. I know it is tempting to dream of all that could have been, if not for this war, but I think it prudent to accept that we may have seen each other for the last time. Oh wait, you're looking out the window and you're waving to me. I'm afraid I must end this letter now so that I may wave back. Goodbye, my love. I will think of you always. Jonathan. Well, look at here, Miss Clementine. I got a letter for you. Got your name on it and everything. Uh-huh. Huh? Have a good day. My dearest Clementine, it has been but several hours since I wrote my last letter, but you have not left my every thought. This is in part because I spent so much time writing my last letter and finding a postman to deliver it that night fell upon us and we were forced to make camp outside your house. I know I could have just given it to you myself, but I feel our goodbye was simply too perfect and I would not want to ruin that memory if it is your last of me. That is why I have declined your invitation to come inside and join the other men in a hearty dinner. If you could simply make me a plate and leave it on your front porch, I will gladly eat it once you have gone back inside. If it's not clear by my shaky handwriting, I am quite hungry. I suppose it is true what is said. War is hell. If this is the end for me, Think of me always, Clementine. Remember me fondly. Jonathan. P.S. I would like extra chicken on my plate and no green beans. I cannot and will not abide by green beans. I got... Yeah. Got this letter for you, Miss Clementine. Well, thank you. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much. My dearest Clementine, we have finally departed from your front lawn where we made camp a fortnight ago. We would have left sooner, but I did not tie up the horses correctly and they all ran away. We spent several days chasing them around your front yard, a problem that was only compounded when I forgot to put out our campfire before going to sleep. Sorry about your yard, Clementine, and your horse barn, and your horses. I am in good health and good spirits, but I'm afraid it wouldn't be honest of me if I didn't admit that the ravages of war are nearly unbearable. In an attempt to lift the men's spirits, I used all of our money to purchase rubber balloons, which I filled with water. I then used them to pelt all of the men. We enjoyed it so much, we sold our horses in order to purchase more balloons. P.S. I have met a totally cute girl. What are your thoughts on an open relationship while we're apart? Check one. Yes or no or maybe. <laughs> oh! What happened? Ah! 
My dearest Clementine, you will never guess what has transpired. I have met a man who claims to be my long-lost uncle. Why, I never knew I even had an uncle. He is from a country in Africa known as Nigeria. He has a treasure chest, but it has a terrible curse on it, which has made it impossible to access the treasure it holds. We have met a witch doctor who can remove the curse, but... I'm afraid he sold all of his tools in order to join in our water balloon fight. My dearest Clementine, please send $100 so that we may purchase his witch doctor and tools and thus lift the curse. If you send the money, we will be paid back 100 times what you have put in. Please use this new service called Western Union. I am thanking you for your time, Clementine. Dear Jonathan, I have read all of your letters, and I have to say, I do not think things are going to work out between us. Did you really think I'd fall for the old witch doctor treasure chest story? Honestly, Jonathan, your foolishness knows no bounds. Goodbye forever, Clementine. I don't believe she's going to be sending that money. <laughs>